Hello. Hi, Ashley. Hi, darling. How are you? I'm good. So is this the um, Ask Ashley, right, tonight? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I have a quick question. So there is this dude who I had met uh, last Sunday, just like out and about. You know, he showed me and my friends a good time and everything like that. So we've been texting for a little bit. Um, he just got back into town. So he's like, wait, 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 wait. You showed you and your friends a good time last weekend. Did you know him or did you meet him out? No, I met him out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, okay. Yeah, I met him out. Um, mm -hmm. He was just like, you know, like, what y'all doing after this? And we're like, you know, we just trying to, you know, we basically going where you going type thing, you know, just having a good time, whatever. <laughs> like, so we have went to a couple of spots with him, like after hours, everything like that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's pretty much it. I'm covering up my baby hairs because they're ugly. So, <laughs> so um, he just got back into town today or, you know, yesterday. So he was like, you know, I want to see you. I miss you. You know, I'm just like, okay, whatever. So he was like, you know, what do you want to do? I said, you know, I just want to do something chill, like maybe to smoke some hookah, like nothing serious. So he's like, okay, cool. Um, I said, Hold I have. On. How old are you both? How old are you? Okay, so I'm 23 and he's 38. Okay. So he's he's older. He's a little bit older. Yeah, I'm saying if he's older, he shouldn't. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yes. So, um. So I basically had called him and I was like, you know, I have one more client and I'm just going to get my hair flat iron and then, you know, start getting ready. So he was like, okay, they acting like 38 is just so old, but whatever. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. So um, I was like, okay, cool. So he called me when I had made it home. He was like, okay, you know, I'm out to eat right now. And then after that, I'm going to call you when I get home so we can, you know, so I can shower and I can come pick you up. I'm like, okay, bet. So, you know, I did my makeup and I'm still going to have to. What time were y'all planning to meet if he was already out? And then that's the thing. We didn't have a set time or anything because oh, I said okay. I was going to let him know because I still had a client and then I still okay. had to like do my hair and stuff. So I was like, okay, mm -hmm. let me call you when I get home. So, you know, we can just, you know, figure out what we're going to do and stuff. So he's like, okay. So he was like, you know, I'm finishing up eating. And then after he's done eating, he was like, um, well, he said after he's done eating, he's going to call me. Then, you know, we can go from there. So that was like at eight, that was like at nine something, like nine, um, nine something. I forgot. <laughs> and I haven't heard from him since then. So I'm trying to see, like, if something is telling me just to block him and keep it pushing, because it's just like, I don't know. I feel like he should have a set time with certain things, even mm -hmm. though we didn't establish a certain time of when we wanted to meet and stuff. But it's just like, I don't like being on nobody else's time. Yeah, was that today? Was that yeah, this is today. This literally happened like an hour ago. Oh, no. <laughs> no, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a no. And what I'm hearing, like what should have happened, which you guys for first date should have established a time and a place. Uh -huh. You should have did it on a day where you knew you wasn't going to be working at all. Okay. You know, cause you mm -hmm. don't want to, how do you say it, it's too comfortable. Like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. I'll, that, that's not your man. Like, yeah. oh, I'll see you afterwards. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? This uh -huh. is something new. Okay. So you kind of want to establish that boundary. Like, okay, mm -hmm. time is important. Let's meet up. Mm -hmm. And then we really get to know each other. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Because I was yeah. talking to my friend. I'm like, am I tripping? Because, like, one thing about me is I'm very quick to just block somebody and just keep it pushing and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. But my mom was like, no, maybe you should. Not with this situation, but just in general. Like, she was just like, you know, maybe you should hear people out or give them the benefit of the doubt. But my thing is like, okay, the clubs close here at two and I have a client tomorrow at nine. So I'm not really trying to be, you know what I'm saying? Out there like that for real. And honestly, I'm not tripping as far as my makeup. Cause I was, just, I just did it for content. So it's not like I'm at a, you know, loss for anything like but that. Still, but still, yeah, still, but yeah. still, but still, but mm -hmm. still, it'd be like, I was trying to go out. I was, yeah, exactly. you know what I mean? Exactly. Like, cause he was like, I want to see you. What do you want to do? and Ooh. things like that and i'm just like you know i just want to do something chill and i really go to a club maybe like a hookah spot whatever and that's another thing for a first day mm -hmm. i'm not saying you're asking him to take you to a rooftop with balloons mm -hmm. and five bouquets of roses mm -hmm. but don't say that either mm -hmm. say you know you surprise me mm -hmm. that's surprise me okay i don't know Okay. Here's the time that I'm available. Surprise me. I'm sure okay. you know the spot so you can get creative. Mm -hmm. But don't say, I'm, I want to do something chill. That's too casual. For first okay. You know? Okay. Now you're, you're right, because I didn't even think about it necessarily as a first day. I think it's because I, it might have been the way that I met him out and about at like a club yeah. type thing. And it was just like, I don't know. I was think I know this might not be right, but I was like, okay, if I keep him on my roster, it might be one of them people who I would hit up if I want to go out. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I didn't think that he was like a potential of like 
oh. I'm gonna take him serious type thing. You know what I'm saying? Because usually, like, first dates is definitely giving Mastro's, is definitely giving Stay 48, you know, heels, dress, all of that. But I was just like, I really don't feel like, you know, doing all that tonight type thing. But I get what you're saying. So, but the thing is, it feels like it's that type of energy because we had talking. So that means it wasn't a casual thing. It was yeah. more like, I like him. Hold up. I like him. I mm -hmm. want to see where this goes. Because okay. if it wasn't, it would have been like, all right, whatever. I'll hit yeah. him up next week. Right. right. Thing. You know, like, mm -hmm. whatever. That okay. makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, so moving forward with him, you think I should just, like, that should be dead it type thing? Like, just not really? With him? We're, we're talking about with him? Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I feel like you like him. Girl, I don't like him. I don't really, it's not really, it's hard for me to say I like him because literally I met him on Sunday. And all, like, on Sunday, like I said, he showed me and my friend a good time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, took us multiple places, things like that. But it's not much for me to really just sit here and like because it's, it's I literally just met him Sunday. You know, like, I don't mind going out with people, like, getting to know people and stuff. But I don't, I wouldn't consider me like. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't take that type of guy serious at all. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I personally would cut him off because mm -hmm. he stood you up, he didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. He knows you're ready. He knows you would be ready by, I don't know, eight or nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. It's an hour later. You haven't even heard anything. Right. And he's, yeah, he's, he's almost wrong. 40. He's, he's almost wrong. 40. Yeah. Like he knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. So, facts. You facts. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I can't even take you serious. Right. Though. Facts. Like, okay, then. Okay, then so I was making sure I wasn't tripping because I'm like, mm, I don't know. My friend was like, wait just a you know a little bit and see. But this is like I said, at this point it's ten o'clock. You know, I'm, you know, at this unless point you I can go out by yourself. Right unless you go out with your friends, yeah. I mean, since you're already kind of done up and you want to put something on and go out, and you would have to go out now because you have to work at nine. So you would have right. to literally go out now. Right. Yeah. I don't know, but it's bothering you. I know it's it's like an ego thing too. Like, what's what is it? Is it me? Like, cause I'm know, big on. I think what it is. Mm -hmm. So you're right about that. And I'm big on don't say you're gonna do something and then not do it. Like, don't volunteer and say, oh, you know, we're gonna go here or you know, you know, what I'm saying like, say you're gonna do something and then fall through. But you don't know it. So we we don't even know if he's reliable yet because we That's don't true. know. We don't know if he's gonna keep you a stranger. You know. Mm -hmm. So we can't have that much you know, high of an expectation for mm -hmm. someone who don't know. But okay. you're young, you're 23, girl. You're in your prime time, okay? Mm -hmm. You're making coin, you're doing makeup, you're doing hair, you're doing all the things you need to do. Right. There will be another one. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you're right about that. That's why I was just like, you know, okay. I think I should, but I seen you were on live. I'm like, let me just see. But it definitely was bothering me for a little bit. But now I know how to move forward. You know what I'm saying? So when it's the next situation, I can just be more direct. And instead of just saying, I want something, you know, I just want to do something chill. Like, like you said, do the surprise me thing. And There's always just, something yeah. more formal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surprise me, LOL. You know, make it cheap. Yeah. And you then know, like, when I don't have any clients. So that makes sense. Yes. Again, keep it formal and only schedule on a day that you guys, you know, you're available okay. to meet up and go out. And right. honestly, anything after 10 o'clock, honey, the only thing open after those hours is lit. <laughs> <laughs> so it ain't nothing to do. Ain't nowhere to go, right. baby. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Because, yeah. Mm -mm. So I was going to say something, but you're absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely right. So I appreciate you. You're welcome, darling. He's about to be black. So okay, <laughs> keep me updated. Come back another time. Okay, okay I will. All bye, right, darling. Bye, bye. Yes, child. Playing. Even if she wasn't looking for anything serious, I think a a part of it's like I liked him a little bit. I liked his vibe. We had a good time that night. Oh, and then a part of it is like it's my ego too. Like where you at? Where are you? It's like my ego a little bit. Her ego is a little like, is it me? Is it me? Although she know it's not her. Still a little bit of her ego in there. Like, oh, uh, I dressed up. Yeah, you did content. Yeah, we could film content. We did out here. But still deep down, you wanted to go out with him, you know? So next time, don't just throw that out there. Like, oh, we could do something chill. No, it's a first date. It's a date. Can you see me? Yes. Hello, beautiful. I want to show you my outfit because I have a sneaker ball coming up. And... Okay. And I'm kind of weird about the sneakers. Okay. I was saying, can you explain to the audience 
what a sneaker ball is for the people who don't know. Okay, so it's basically when you wear, you basically dress up and you wear like a nice dress or whatever with sneakers. I don't like the concept of it because I like heels, but you know, I have to get with the program. So I have to figure something out. So I got a gold dress from Pretty Little Thing. Um, and then I got these sneakers here on the plate. Okay, that goes. Yeah, that goes. The gold. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what bag I should get. <laughs> Can we see the dress? We can't really see it. Though. Okay, okay, let me see. Oh, okay. Oh, the dress is doing. It's giving. Come on, stomach, leg, the girls. Oh, mm. I don't know if I should like wear like boob tape. Boob tape, but then it may have a different shape. If you're going for a certain shape, it may have a different shape. You can try the boob tape, see how it looks, or you may have to just keep it like cuffed under. I don't know if it's gonna keep moving throughout the night though, or wear chicken cuts, chicken cutlets. Yeah, yeah, true. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just needed your input because I'm not really big on sneaker balls, but I feel like this would yes, be. So another girl came up here for a sneaker ball, I think a couple of months ago. I know it is kind of like a popular thing for sure. You're like over it. You're like, Ugh, I don't. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit weirded, weirded out by it, but you know, I guess I'm going to just wear this. Maybe this would be a good idea. Yes. And what purse are you wearing with that? I didn't decide. I what know. color bag should she do, chat? Should she do a gold? I feel, like, you I feel like it would be too much gold. I have a um, <clears throat> a black and white off-white bag mm -hmm. <laughs> that I wear. Um, I don't want to do too much gold. I don't want to wear, like, another gold purse. White or black? That's what I was thinking. I compliment the shoe. I guess. Something to compliment the shoe. And then also the, the sneakers that I bought... Um, they have white laces, but they also came in gold laces. So should I put the gold laces on or the white? I would have to see it. Should she do gold laces or white laces? I like that the white just feels clean. It's a sneaker ball. She has to do sneakers. It's a sneaker ball. Yeah, no, I it, the, the sneakers are weird, but it has to be sneakers. Yeah, so I have to wear the sneakers. Oh, they're saying I'm white. Yeah, white. I think white. It just gives a more like clean, clean look. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Definitely needed advice on that because I'm not used to wearing a dress with sneakers. I think it's so ghetto. But... Yeah. But everyone, <laughs> everyone at the event you know, put sneakers on with their gowns or, you know, their fits. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Valeria. Valeria, oh Hi. hey, Hi, Hi, honey bun. How are you? I'm good, and yourself? Good. How's Vegas? It's great. I'm actually on the strip right now. All right. So, Do you have... uh -huh. I just finished working, um, but I'm going to another booking right now at another um, casino. So I just came into my car to get my clothes and I'm going to be going inside to change again. Um, so I just have a couple outfits if you guys want to help me choose what outfit to wear. Show us the looks. And this is for work, right? Yes. It's going to be at a restaurant um, here in Las Vegas. It's at the um, at the Fountain Blue. Oh, the Fountain. That's why I stayed for New Year's. Oh, that's the newest hotel. Yes. So there's um, a restaurant in there called Kom Komodo, I believe it's called. Yes, yes. That's yeah. Japanese. Yeah, I think it's yeah. Japanese. Restaurant. So yeah. there's an event going on today, and I'm going to be working the event. So I have a couple of options. I have this, like, nice Oh, I love the color already. It's a maroon. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has, like, some, it's like a train type of vibe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. I love the color. It pops. Yeah. It pops. Yes. I have this, and then mm -hmm. I also just have... It's different from the dress I already have on. This one's a little bit more sexy. The one I have on is more, like, classy work vibes, you know? Mm -hmm. So this one is, like, more of a V-cut. And it's leather. Yeah. It's... That's very Vegas. Right? This is kind of more, like, sexy, very, you yeah. know, just, like, sleek, I would say. The high rollers are gonna be looking. Hold on, who's that? <laughs> no, it's actually very nice. The fountain blue is beautiful. So, um, 
it's an event going on today so there's gonna be a lot of people there so I just have to look good you know and then I'm also giving I have this like green it has sparkly sparkle. I like that little sparkle element and then it just okay. has I feel like the first I don't know I think that would look good on but I like the first two options let's ask the chat dress one two or three just I'm seeing one I'm seeing everyone put one for the red I'm gonna change my lip color too it's because I had another outfit on right now so I have a dark lip on right now it's one is up first and then two for the shoe I have this shoe right here just a clear simple heel yeah okay that works that works with dress number one right all right one okay two. one and two okay perfect this is like kind of i know that one's gonna really give that leather dress i know it's going to give like like sexy you know spicy yeah. but then the first one feels classy sexy the the more the red one yeah it's like a combo mm-hmm yeah with the shoes which one were you leaning more towards one or two um i would i just kind of say two because this kind of gives me more like like i'm going to a wedding or maybe like something of that nature mm -hmm. so maybe just like for a nice restaurant and like hosting the event and stuff i think maybe like yeah, yeah. yeah. it would stand out with with the black you yeah. know you're definitely gonna get tips if you're working as a hostess. That's we're doing this. We're doing this. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome, beautiful. You guys. Of course, enjoy your day at work, honey bun. Okay. Oh, thank you for coming up, Valeria. Though she always comes up here and shows her looks. Yeah, she has great vibes. She seemed a little down today. I don't know her energy. Just. Like, I know how to come up. Not saying she's, like, going 100, but I could just feel it. You know, maybe it's been a long day. But I think number two, if she's hosting and walking around the restaurant, then yes. That's going to pull, like, draw the eyes of the men in. Like, oh, leather. That little bob. Biggest dating tip for your 20s. Have fun. Mm -hmm. And fun doesn't mean you're outside doing things. Pulp fiction. That's the that's what I wanted to say. Pulp fiction. There you have it. Yes, Michelle Pfeiffer. Yes. It gives that vibe with that bob. And even her look. Her look is very that. She could be in an 80s movie with a cigar walking down the street. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What? What you said? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you think 29 is young? Yes, compared to 100, it is very young which one would you rather be 100 or 29 pick right now and there's nothing wrong with pick your character who's younger oh okay 29 okay mm -hmm. for now nothing wrong. you could be healthy and 100 but if you had to choose but it's a blessing to reach 100 oh my gosh how many presidents how many history um lessons how many transformations how many evolutions i mean you've seen so much